What's up, guys? What's going on? Welcome back to another episode of Rugby Player Reacts to the NFL's Top 100 Players of 2021. In this video, we focus on a player by the name of Jeffrey Simmons. He's voted at number 78 on the list. He's a defensive end, and he plays for the... Uh, uh, let me check again. Uh, the Titans. The Titans. Do I know him? No. Has he been on the list before? Possibly, but I don't think so. We do have his quarterback, actually, as the first cab off the rank, as far as the interviews go, for this particular video. But before we get into it, guys, there is one thing and one thing only left to do, and that is to hear from our exclusive video sponsor, Manscaped. Sup guys, it's Jacob here. Thank you, first and foremost, for clicking on my video. Secondly, this video is proudly brought to you by Manscaped. Now Manscaped do have a complete range of products on their website, but their most recent product, and the one that I'm using at the moment, is this, the Lawnmower 4.0. So not only is the packaging impressive, but apparently it's a whole new balls game. And here it is now, the latest addition to Manscaped's incredible selection of male grooming products. I've been using the products for a good couple of weeks now, I love them, there's no way I'd be making this video if I didn't. Manscaped use ceramic blades with skin safe technology which means there's absolutely no risk of nicks or cuts. In fact you could probably do it blindfolded. Not only that but you can do it in the shower also. It's completely 100% waterproof and it's even got an LED light. So power or no power you can still get the job done. For those wondering, is it a tool just for the downstairs area? No, no it's not. It's actually good for your entire body including your face and for anyone wondering that's the length. But if that's too short for you, there are four different trimmer guard options, which means four different lengths, which means if you really wanted to, you could probably even draw a picture. It looks good, it's waterproof, it's rechargeable with a 90 minute charge, and it's only one of the incredible selection of products on the manscaped.com website. So head over there, check out www.manscaped.com, use code JACOBD20, that's J-A-C-B-D-2-0, for 20% off your entire order. Join myself, your other favourite YouTubers, and over 2 million men worldwide happily using these products. Once again, head down into the description box below, click the link, check out the entire range of products, use my discount code, happy days. Enjoy the video guys, and peace out. Alright, so here we have a defensive end for the Titans, one of the best teams in the league, let's be fair. But normally I'd probably be focusing my attention as far as the Titans are concerned on the offensive side of the ball rather than the defensive side of the ball. So today we're going to hear from the defensive side of the ball. But first, from a member of the offensive side of the ball, Ryan Tannehill. Let's go. Jeffrey Simmons is a beast. You know, from the first time I saw him, I'm like, this guy looks apart. He looks like you want a three technique to look. He's stout, arms are as big as my legs. No, his arms literally are as big as Ryan Tannehill's legs. And we saw Ryan Tannehill's legs in all their glory as he as he was doing his touchdown celebration. Big bull. Uh, came from Mississippi State, SEC, and I, I think he's next up, honestly. You know, as far as D-Tacos go, you know, Chris Jones, him, I think he has a lot of potential in what he can do. And as long as he keeps on working, he's going to be a boss in the league for a while. Well, I tell you what, that's some serious reps from a serious player. Let's look up his stats. Six foot four, 305 pounds. Pick number 19 in the first round of the 2019 draft from Mississippi State, as we just heard. Played three years in college. This is his second, sorry, his third season in the league. He's just played his second. And as we can see, he's landed himself on the top 100 list. He got a score of 14 in the Wonderlook test. Now that's nothing to write home about. I'm not sure why they've included that. I'm not sure why they've included that in his pre-draft measurables. In fact, that's just taking the complete piss. But what's not taking the complete piss is the fact that he's got hands over 10 inches on a body over 300 pounds and six foot four. I'm not sure why they don't they don't have they don't have his stats for 2020, but they do have his 2019 stats. So in his rookie year, where he signed a four-year, 12.66 million dollar contract, he played a total of nine regular season games, 32 combined tackles, 18 solo and 14 assisted, two sacks. Postseason, three games, three combined tackles, one solo, two assisted, one fumble recovery, and not a lot else. 
Simmons's brother, Daniel Bradley, played football at Southern Miss and then spent time with the Minnesota Vikings, while his uncle, Jason Hatcher, played 10 total seasons with the Dallas Cowboys and Washington football team. Away from football, Simmons enjoys fishing and spending time outdoors. He has a son named Jeffrey Jr. and two sisters, Brooke and Ashley. And with all that being said, let's check him out. Big Jeff! Big Jeff! Titans defensive tackle Jeff. You gotta love it. You gotta love the energy. Can you can you imagine what it would be like on game day in the NFL? May look good running through smoke. Cousins is going to be. And he looks good running through players too. But he looks. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! It's the Vikings. It's the Vikings. Cult hero commentator. Cousins is going to be. But he looks even better smoking offensive line. Jeffrey Simmons just takes Drew Samia oh. and really marches oh. him. Swipes him away with ease. Lap. And he's got a mean streak, which you love to see. He's a guy that I don't think gets a lot of credit. He doesn't always show up on the stat sheet. But I think teams have to have a plan for him. Big Jeff! Special man. He's a young guy, but he'll get after you and... He's a guy that you just gotta you gotta watch for. You know, he's a sleeper. Big Jeff just caved in and oh. took it down. I must admit to hear that I must admit to hear that a, a lineman has a real mean streak about them. That that worries me. <laughs> but when you think about it, to get to that level in a league like the NFL, you've got to have some sort of mean streak about you. You've got to be able to bring it out when and where appropriate. And it's the guys that can do that on the field, but then switch it off just as easily off the field that I respect. Guys that can, you know, play like that on the field, but can just as easily switch it off that I tend to not only enjoy watching and hearing from, but also, you know, it's that, it's that respect. Mine isn't focused on Simmons. Their quarterback may end up on his back. Because if you can turn it on and not turn it off, then we're talking about characters like Bill Romanowski and no one wants to be grouped in the same category as Bill Romanowski. He was a crazy motherfucker. He a good player, man. Good up and coming player. Guy making some splashes. But I will say, in his elder years, he has calmed down somewhat. And that's what usually happens, isn't it? He's physical. He can uh, take up two blockers, he can shed those two blockers and make a tackle for, for no yards or one yard gain. Simmons did a nice job of closing that off. Really nice job. It doesn't look like much on a stat sheet, but that's, a, that's an impact play that... Absolutely is. Now there is one thing I do need to make mention of. And look, it's, it's come up multiple times and I've thought about it every single time, but I haven't said anything yet. As far as the NFL players that I've seen rep repping a chain, look, whether it be gold, silver, platinum, bronze... Whatever it is, this has to be the thinnest chain around an NFL player's neck I've ever seen in my entire life. Now, I don't know why that is. I mean, it looks as if he's got multiple chains, but they're, they're extremely thin. And with that in mind, I reckon it's about time I bring mine out. Jeff, we need our best right here. Hey, let's, let's go, a big Jeff. A ball, knock a football out, man. Simmons batted down five passes in 2020. Tying him for the league lead among defensive tackles. Whoa! And who got it was Simmons. He earned his first top 100 appearance by being a nuisance for offenses. That's like an annoying type of deal. Bro, you gotta look. <laughs> All I'm saying is this big red arm comes swiping over, right? So as far as the quarterback goes, just look for that red sleeve. Stay the hell away from it, and you'll be right. Jeff is really, really good at that. That's Big Jeff. Oh, no, that time it was white. Very frustrating, man, when they knock the ball down. When you have a guy like that that just has all aspects of the game dialed in and you just try to, you know, hold him down or you, you push him and make sure... Tell you what, yeah, it's tipped all right, but it could have broken his finger just as easily. So they, they don't do it again, but they do it again. 55 seconds remaining. Minshew. Minshew. 
and that's the result you really want. Not only a tip, but for the ball to go into your uh, your team's hands. Big Jeff. He's dangerous, and uh, but it's always fun to go against guys like that because it's always a challenge. That's a huge play by Jeffrey Simmons, right? There. That's a big time play by that young man there. He's a guy that's going to continue to get better. He's a guy that I love being a teammate with. Let and, a man eat. Watch him play. Let the man eat. I love Let. <laughs> Here he is. The man, the myth, the legend. Buddha Baker. We'll see you next, mate. Um, so I suppose, seeing as we did, we did read that his hand size is over 10 inches, it's no surprise that he's able to at least tip you know, quite quite a few passes. Five, in fact, for the season. Big Jeff. Uh, what a nickname. I actually like that. I like Big Jeff. I like Big Anything as a nickname. It's nice and short and sweet. Uh, two syllables. Nothing crazy. And uh, believe it or not, we did have a Big Jeff in our school back in the day. But it wasn't spelled J-E-F-F. -F, it was G-E-O-F-F. -F. Anyways, that is not a rabbit hole I will enter any further right now. We are almost a quarter of the way through this list. This morning we started at a sixth of the way through. We've passed a fifth. We're almost at a quarter. I am going to call it quits here today because we do have a game to live stream. It is none other than the San Francisco 49ers versus the Chargers. And it starts in half an hour. So I've got to get myself ready. Uh, thank you so much for being here, guys. If you have enjoyed the video, hit like. If you want to subscribe, please do. And I will see you back here to check out none other than number 77 on the list. Quandre Diggs, a cornerback for the Seahawks, which is probably why we're hearing from fellow defensive back Buda Baker. Peace out, guys. Have a great day.